Welcome to this episode of Real Chemistry. I'm Dr. Morris. Today we're going to be talking about titrations. Titrations are a way to determine the concentration of an acid or base when you don't know it. So here we have a titration set up. And you might have sodium hydroxide down here in the bottom. And HCl up here in this burette. And we'll use this valve to slowly release... HCl down into sodium hydroxide. What happens when HCl hits sodium hydroxide? Well, it's an acid-base reaction. So we go from HCl and NaOH to water and a salt. And that's a neutralization reaction. When we've added the right amount of HCl, we reach what's called the equivalence point. And the equivalence point is where the acid base is completely neutralized. So that means we've added the same amount of HCl molecules as we have sodium hydroxide molecules. And we can use the fact that we're at the equivalence point to go between the volume we need up here to add down below and the concentration we have down here. So basically what our titration is going to let us do is calculate the concentration of what's down in our flask or we could figure out what volume of HCl we needed to add to neutralize something. So we can go back and forth between volume and concentration. What we're going to do in this video is two calculations. The first, we're going to go from our concentration of our sodium hydroxide to the volume of HCl we need to titrate it. We need to reach the equivalence point. And then we're going to go the other direction in the second calculation. Now, this is basically a stoichiometry problem where we're going to use a couple of skills that hopefully you've developed over your time in chemistry. But if you haven't, then you might want to review videos I'm going to link to below. You need to know about molarity. You need to know about acid-base reactions. You need to know about balancing chemical reactions and about stoichiometry. So I'm going to link to a video on each of those below. Check them out if you're a little rusty. All right, so our first of 0.2 molar HCl is needed to reach the equivalence point when titrating 40 milliliters of 0.3 NaOH. So what we have is 40 milliliters of NaOH down here. And we know the concentration we know that the concentration is 0.3 molar. And then we have some HCl up in our burette. And we know its concentration is 0.2 molar. But we don't know how much volume it's going to take to reach the equivalent point. So that's what we're solving for in this problem. How much volume is it going to take to reach the equivalence point? How much will I have to let out with this little valve? Well, I've broken that problem down into three steps. The first thing we're going to do is write our acid-base reaction. In this case, we're going to take HCl... That's our acid. Combine it with sodium hydroxide. That's our base. And we're going to get out water plus NaCl. Again, if you're not sure how to predict that, check out the acid-base video below. That turns out to already be balanced. I have two hydrogens on each side, one oxygen on each side, one chlorine, and one sodium. So that's the first step, writing the acid-base reaction that's balanced. Then I'm going to convert any volumes I have to liters. And right here, you'll notice I have 40 milliliters, so I need to convert that to 0 0.040 liters. And all I need to do to convert between milliliters and liters is divide by 1,000. So I've divided 40 milliliters by 1,000, and I get my liters. And now I'm going to use stoichiometry. I'm going to use my chemical recipe. And in particular, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my volume of sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to start with 0 0.04 liters sodium hydroxide. And my whole goal is to eventually get to my volume of HCl. So in this sort of problem, where I'm looking for the volume needed to reach the equivalence point, I'm going to start with volume and I'm going to end with volume. So how do I go in between? How do I connect these? Well, with my volume of NaOH, before I can use my chemical recipe up here, I need to get to moles. And that's just what we do in stoichiometry problems over and over again. So to get to moles, I'm going to use my molarity. So... My molarity, I know, for my sodium hydroxide is 0.3 molar. And that's saying 0 0.3 moles for every 1 liter. And this, we'll add explicitly, is for sodium hydroxide. Okay, so that gets me to mole sodium hydroxide. Now once I have mole sodium hydroxide, I just do a simple stoichiometry step to go to HCl. Well, for every 1 NaOH I react something with, I'm going to need 1 HCl, and that's what I'm going to take into account in this factor, which is going to say that for every 1 mole HCl, it goes up top because I'm going to HCl, I need 1 mole NaOH. To cancel out my NaOH, I need it on the bottom. Then, last step, to go from moles HCl to liters HCl, I once again need a molarity, this time the molarity for HCl. 
And this time I want moles on the bottom, so it's going to be 0 0.2 moles over 1 liter. Remember that molarity is moles over liter. So when I have 0.2 molarity, that's like 0.2 moles over 1 liter, and I can convert that uh, using, these, using these factors in my stoichiometry expression. Alright, so now I just multiply through. And when I do that, I'm going to get 0 0.06 liters HCl when I round to one sig fig. So, in this problem, what we did is we took the volume and concentration of sodium hydroxide we had down in our flask, and we calculated how much 0.2 molar HCl we need to reach the equivalence point. What this is saying is, if I add 0.06 liters of HCl, that's at 2 molar, 0.2 molar, it'll completely neutralize 40 milliliters of 0.3 molar in AOH. Alright, let's look at the second type of calculation. This says, what is the concentration of a 25 milliliter HF solution, which requires 0.183 liters of 0.2 molar NaOH to reach the equivalence point? So this is a little different. Now we've been given our volume, and we want concentration. And what we're going to do here is we're still going to start by writing our balance base, balanced acid-base reaction, and we're still going to convert volume to liters, and we're still going to use stoichiometry. The difference is in that stoichiometry step, which we'll get to in just a second. So first, let's write our acid-base reaction. We have HF plus NaOH, and that's going to go to our H2O plus our NaF. So notice this is actually, HF is actually a weak base, but the math look, works exactly the same for this part. So we write our ac balanced acid-base reaction. And then we're going to convert any volumes to liters. Well, I need to take my 25 milliliters and take that to liters. Again, I just divide by 1,000, and that's going to give me 0 0.025 liters. All right, and now I'm going to use stoichiometry. In this case, I'm going to once again start with my volume of the thing I have the most information about. The difference here is I'm not going to volume. I'm going to be going to concentration. So I'm going to start with 0 0.183 liters of my sodium hydroxide, and now I want to go to molarity HF. And so what I do there is the first two steps are going to look exactly the same as before. I have 0.183 liter sodium hydroxide. Well, I'm going to use molarity to convert that to moles. So I'm going to do 0 0.2 moles over 1 liter. That comes from this guy. 0 0.2 molar is the same as 0 0.2 moles for every 1 liter. And now I use my stoichiometry step, and I'll notice that I need one mole HF for every one mole NaOH. So my NaOH cancels out, and I'm left now with moles of HF. And if I want to go to molarity, well, i got to divide moles by liters. So that's my last step. So I'm going to take my moles, and I'm going to divide it by 0 0.183 liters. And it's okay that there's just a 1 up top, you don't need units up top, you're just dividing by volume. And when you do that, you're going to get 1.5 molar HF. So here what we did is we started with the volume and concentration of NaOH we needed to add to titrate HF. And we figured out then the concentration that HF had. So thanks for watching this episode of Real Chemistry on equivalence points and determining our volumes and our concentrations there. For more on buffers, you can check out a video I'll link to below on strong acid-base uh, titrations. Thanks for watching.